you to run an errand for me. Oh, boy! Jacob, I don't want you crossing the street alone. Okay? I won't, I won't. <laughs> what if I were to lose my way? What if the wind were to soft and they blow me away? What if a tree were to fall on me? A shadow swallow me? What if the corner store is gone and I disappear into a crazy song? What if they got no Chocolate ice cream, what will the grocer say? Is he going to laugh at me? Will they think that I'm not big enough? Or say I'm not happy enough to make my own way? Little boy, make your own way in the big, big world. What if the price went? Up overnight, Mama says that it often does. Wouldn't I be a sight? And what if Daddy didn't know it, and the money were counterfeit? Would they send me off to jail? Will I have to take my tail between my legs and run? What if, what if so many, what ifs, what if, what if, don't know about anything, what if, what if, gotta know about everything, whoa, whoa, what if, what if, what if so many, what if, what if, what if, don't know about anything, what if, what if, gotta know about everything. Well, young 
young man. What can we do for you? I want two quarts of chocolate ice cream. I want two quarts of chocolate ice cream. There's no need to chew your cud twice in here. But I always say things two times. I'm Jacob Tutu. And I'm two plus two plus two years old. And I want two quarts of chocolate ice cream. I want two quarts of chocolate ice cream. Oh, oh making fun of me, are you? <laughs> Officer? What is it, Mr. Cooper? I'm being made fun of. This little person is making fun of me. What? A child making fun of an adult? This is serious. Well, son, what are you doing here? All I want, please, is two quarts of chocolate ice cream. All I want, please, is two quarts of chocolate ice cream. He did it again. I demand justice. This little boy must be charged with insulting behavior to a grown-up. Well, by golly, you're right. Now, see here, son. Hey! It is my duty to inform you that you and your visitor are, according to the strict letter of the law, allowed one hour together before facing the judge. Meet your lawyer, <laughs> Lewis Loser. <laughs> Naturally. But why do I need a lawyer? To protect you in court. Oh, but I don't have any money, Mr. Loser. I couldn't afford to pay you. Of course not. If you could afford it, you'd pay me to stay home in bed. What about my car? Come on, my boy. It's time to go. Mr. Loser, I have faith in you.
come over here. Wait it, Bob. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Sir. I see here that you were charged with insulting behavior, not to another brat. <laughs> I mean, child. But good heavens, to a big person. This is serious. Extremely serious. If you get away with this, it could lead to more monstrous crimes like hiding comic books under your pillow or eating between meals. Once and for all, children must be taught. That's me. People are never, never wrong. If we punish you, it's... <laughs> and it hurts us. More than it hurts you. How do you plead, you little nick? What's the difference? He's guilty! <laughs> Jacob Tutu, I should warn you that in this court, as in life, little people, children, are considered guilty unless they can prove themselves innocent. <laughs> Which is just short of impossible. <laughs> How do you flee? I have to ask my lawyer, sir. I have to ask my Well, how do you flee? With all respect, Your Honor, I plead innocent. Silence! That's abominable. It's most inconsiderate, for I'm the very busiest of busy judges. In an average day here, I, I deal with, with desperados and swindlers, bubblegum smugglers, chocolate bar addicts, boys who want bigger allowances, girls who grow out of their shoes too soon, the lot. All of whom have one thing in common. They're rude to big people. Why, you, you wouldn't even exist. If not for your parents. Everything you have. You owe to much time. If you're innocent, then why are you here? Because I want two quarts of chocolate ice cream. Because I want two quarts of chocolate ice cream. Don't mock me, boy. I heard you right the first time. Your Honor, he says almost everything two times. And that's why he stands before you. Aha! Why don't you tell the jury why it is you must say everything two times? Because nobody hears me the first time. They only pay attention to me if I say things two times. And now, Your Honor, could I please have my two quarts of chocolate ice cream? Could I please have my two quarts of chocolate ice cream? Are you quite finished? Thank him for that. Wake up the jury. Wake up! Close. Well? You've heard the evidence. How do you find the defendant? How do we find him? How do we find him? I'll tell you how we find him. Guilty is how we find him. Guilty, 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 guilty. Well, if that's the way you feel, I will now pass sentence. Jacob Tutu. Because you are an unredeemed scoundrel, a charlatan, an ingrate, and a, and a smart comic to boot. I hereby sentence you to two years, two months, two weeks, two days, two hours, two minutes in the darkest dungeons of the children's prison. I do this for your own good, naturally. And it hurts me 
more than it hurts you. We shall appeal this verdict, of course. Oh, really? And who might you be? I will. I'll, I'll, I'll do just that. Uh, now, I don't mean to be unkind. Uh, goodness knows, we all love little Jacob Tutu. But, and it's not really my fault. A, a, a sentence has been passed. And, and according to the law, and we're all law-abiding citizens, well, well then, then I'm afraid we, we must carry it out. Then carry it out. But, but that means that we must take poor little Jacob Tutu to the children's prison. That's law. A guard, you may uh, remove the prisoner. Judge, it's the law. At least he says it's the law. But it is against the law to be cruel to children. And if we find out that you are being cruel to the children in the children's prison, it means that you have broken the law. And then, Mr. Judge Ruff, you'll be hearing from us. Cruel to children? Oh, my good heavens and dearie me. We're wonderfully kind to them. They, 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 have, uh, they have potato chips and, and wine for lunch and... Ice cream and cigars for dessert. <laughs> uh, may we, may we take him away now? You may. Be brave, Jacob Tutu. Oh, yeah? The Chai Power needs your help. Aren't I too little to help anybody? Oh, no. Only you can help us prove that they are breaking the law by being cruel to children. But how? You have to help us uncover the children's prison, which is hidden away where nobody can prove they are breaking the law by being cruel. Once we uncover the children's prison, we can rescue the poor wretches being held there. But how can I help? But how can I help? Here, hide this supersonic blinker behind your ear, under your hair, of course. Then we'll be able to find you wherever they take you. We have to go now, but count on us. Wake up. Crook, your guards for the long and dangerous journey to the children's prison are here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here he is. Watch out for him. He's a maximum security case. Oh, the tough ones are our specialty. Are they not, Mrs. Fowl? Oh, yes, indeed, Master Fish. Mm. Uh, we know how to deal with smart Alex. <laughs> All right, smart Alex. Into the truck. This will be a long and perilous journey. And don't think your creepy friends from child power will ever find you. We are going by the most confusing route imaginable. <laughs>
suspicious to who's suspicious of boys and girls? Who's the meanest man about whom I've ever seen? Let me introduce to you the hooded thing. Insulting behavior to a big person, huh? That we will. How did you get yourself into this mess? I asked for two quarts of chocolate ice cream. I asked for two quarts of chocolate ice cream. Why are you saying everything two times? You take me for a dummy, do you? No, sir. No, sir. You said it again. I want this desperado put in the deepest, darkest dungeon and fed on his diet of stale bread and water. Can I have two slices, please? Can I have two slices, please? You see, you've only been here a few moments and already you're begging for mercy. <laughs> oh boy, am I tough. I'm the toughest, the toughest. Shall I tell you why I hate kids more than anything else in the whole world? Once I was a star. With my own dressing room. The hooded fangs. Most vicious and vile wrestler in the whole world. Why, when I would leave my dressing room and enter the arena, the booze was sufficient enough to raise the roof beam. And when I went into the ring, the fans would pelt me with stinking fish, rotten eggs, and over rotten tomatoes. So it was wonderful, wonderful. One dreadful evening in Streetport, Louisiana, just as I was entering the ring waiting for the fish and the eggs to fly, a child laughed. A child pointed at me and laughed out loud and said, He's not terrible, Daddy. He's funny. Funny? Desperately, I rolled my eyes. I bared my fangs. I made menacing faces. Higher! Her. But nobody threw anything. Not, not one little stinking egg. The child wouldn't stop laughing. And before you knew it, the whole arena was laughing. The more, the more I growled, the more they laughed. When my opponent entered the ring, I immediately poked my thumb in his eye. But instead of fighting back, he just, he just fell on the ropes, roaring with laughter. Oh. These things get around, you know. It was in the paper. And pretty soon, wherever I would go, all I would have to do was crawl through the ropes. And the fans would laugh so hard. Tears would come to their eyes. All because a child laughed. A funny villain's no good, don't you see? No good at all. Such a nice man. What? Nice? I'm not nice. I'm horrible, vicious, evil, mean and vile. Now get out of my sight before I think my fangs into you. Oh, how I hate kids. We have 200 cells for 200 rotten kids. I've got a tummy ache. Oh. Ah. Shall we throw him to the crops then? No. Let's feed him to the snakes. The wolverines are hungrier. How's your tummy ache now? Oh, much better. Thank you. Ah. Smithers. <laughs> to ever and to wake. Cross the block, breathe the smog, oozy woozy wango, it's your team. 
time for you to get a prison uniform. Come on. to have a shower before we can give you your crummy prison uniform. You just go into the shower room, take a shower, dry off, and put on the uniform hanging on the hook. Here it is. But sir, that time is freezer. But sir, that time is freezer. Cold showers are good for little boys. <laughs> Did you dry yourself? You didn't wash behind your ears. But why, why, what's this? Nothing. Nothing. Mm. Why, look here. It's a precious stone. I'll keep this then. Thank you very much. It's mine. You can't hide it. It's stealing. You're stealing. Stealer. Stealer. supersonic bleeper anymore. That doesn't mean that trawl power can't find the prison. If Mr. Fox has it, it's still here. The intrepid Shapiro and the Fielders O'Toole can still find us. We're having a party in the dining hall tonight. You're invited. <laughs> Take care of that. But first, 
I must tell you why we're here tonight. We are here tonight to honor Mr. Fox. Mr. Fox. And present him with this month's Rotten the Children Award. Mr. Fox will be leaving us. He's going to the big city. Undercover work. An entirely new division. Toy shop. Sabotage. <laughs> my new precious stone. Leave right after the party. Then give me back my bleeper. <laughs> get on, get on. <laughs> I've failed everybody. Now the intrepid Japoon and the fearless O'Toole will never find us. And I'll be here for two years, two months, two weeks, two days, two hours, and two minutes in the darkest dungeons of the children's <laughs> Ever since the bleeps crossed the small country, Ford are nothing, not a bleep! Poor Jacob Tutu. Do you think there's something wrong with the bleep at receiver? Nope. I serviced it myself. Either the bleeps can't penetrate the small, or they discovered it and destroyed it. One or the other. Rescue them! Oh, that's impossible. Where is he? Right here in the city. That's crazy! Crazy or not, we have to follow the bleeps. Piece of chocolate. Look at this. Where did you get this? Well, one day I was fishing in the river when all of a sudden I hooked a great big striped bass. And no sooner than he coughed up this precious stone. Gorgeous, isn't it? I hope I didn't say anything to distress you. Come and visit me again. Ask for me at the door, anytime. My name is Fox, Mr. Fox. And I love children. <laughs> trying to escape. Poor Jacob Tutu. What? Still asleep? It's four o'clock in the morning. You can't stay in bed all day. Out! Where to? Where to? You think? You get all that bread and water for nothing. 
You have to earn your keep. But what will we do in here? Do. Do. We. We ascend, of course. Can't they stand the sun? Because 
he can find too quickly. Any adult who cannot stand children also fears the sun. Or pets, or flowers, or laughter. That Jacob Tutu will be the end of me. Whenever I pass, he won't shiver or cower or even tremble. Oh, no thanks, Ma. I ain't hungry. Furthermore, he won't even admit his age. Every time I ask him how old he is, he says, I'm two plus two plus two years old. Worse than that, uh, I got knocked two times on his cell door. Punish him? Uh, no punishment work. Have you tried making him eat his soup with a fork? I tried everything. I must break his spirit, you see. And the only way I can do that is to make him say anything but two. Like, uh, uh, like a one or three, uh, even sixteen. Sixteen! That's it, Ma! I'm gonna make him say sixteen! <laughs>
to a top secret to child power. Attention. Intrepid Shapiro Fearless O'Tour for your eyes only. Hi, Fearless. Greetings, Intrepid. Bad news. The supersonic bleeper was stolen from me by one Mr. Fox, who is now in the city on a secret mission doing sabotage in toy shops. Track down Mr. Fox and he can lead you to us in the hidden children's prison. Something else, bring weapons with all due respect. You will need them. Signal your arrival by poisoning the crocodiles in the waters that surround the prison. Then remember not to attack until two o'clock, by which time, with the help of Nan and Amy, I will have rendered the slime squad helpless. Yours truly, Jacob Tutu. P.S. I hope in my absence that you have remembered to feed my hamster, Mr. Harper. The fire there, but how are you going to get it delivered? Even if there were steps, there's no post office on Slimer's Island. Yeah, we don't even have a post office. There may be no post office, but I have a mailman, the hooded bag. You mean he's going to deliver your letter? so that the other kids will know you're scared of me. Oh, no, I won't. Oh, no, I won't. Okay, you will. <laughs> oh, no, I won't. Oh, no, I won't, because I know your dreadful secret. I'm going to feed you to the hungry sharks. If you lead me out of this cell tomorrow, I'm going to hug you and kiss you. Oh, Dad, you wouldn't dare do that. 
in front of all the swine squad, in front of all the guards, in front of all the children, too. You'll be the rule to me. Not if you make a deal. What kind of a deal? I want a letter delivered right away to the intrepid superior on the fearless O'Toole. The, the child, child poverty and famous still. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Okay, okay, it's a deal, it's a deal. But cut out the mushy stuff, cut out the mushy stuff. Jacob Tutu got it wrong. After all, he's still a very small boy. We'll just have to wait and see. Look! up parts from different toys. It's the lowest. That's sabotage. Oh. This should make all the experiments fail. <laughs> what? What's this? What's going on here? Say your prayers, breath. you like a taste of the same medicine? My nerves are shot. I bleed easily. What do you think, Shapiro? Should we spare him? Oh, yes. What a good idea. Oh, spare me. I don't know, O'Toole. I wear glasses. See, I wear glasses. You wouldn't hurt a man with glasses, would you? We're going to spare you, wretch. We have other uses for you. Mm. Mm. Watch for dead crocodiles. We go at two o'clock. Pass it along. Escape. Watch for dead crocodiles. We go at two o'clock. Pass it along. Escape. Watch for dead crocodiles. We go at two o'clock. Pass it along. Escape. Watch for dead crocodiles. We go at two o'clock. Pass it along. Escape. Watch for dead crocodiles. We go at two o'clock. <laughs> Watch for dead crocodiles. We go at two o'clock. Okay, watch for dead crocodiles. We go at two o'clock. 
You put your faith in a little boy who is so little, he can't even cut a slice of bread that isn't a foot thick at one end and thin as a sheet of paper at the other. Yeah? Well, Jacob Tutu is smart for his age. <laughs> He's so little, he has to say everything two times because nobody ever listens to him the first time. <laughs>
Jacob, you're wonderful. Once we threw the switch and all the small blew away, we had them. Adults who hate children or plants or flowers or laughter also fear the sun. It blinds them. I said I'm blind. Don't pay any attention to him. He's just pretending. Fibber. He's the only one here who doesn't really fear the sun. Jacob told us. Jacob's a tattletale. And you know why? Because the hooded fang is just a big kid. He's one of us. I am not. I knew. I didn't trust him. The proof is, whenever he walks across the prison yards growling, he's always careful not to step on the cracks. I knew I didn't like that man. Empty his pocket. Oh, no, not that. That's not fair. That's two against one. Oh. A ball of string, elastic bands, speech glass, a fountain pen top, and bubble gum. I want my mommy. Aw, there now. Jacob, Cupid said everything just once. Oh, Jacob, it must be because now everybody listens to you the first time. I guess I'm going up. Jacob! 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 If there are no ogres or goblins in the night What if I wake because my father squeezes Mama on the fire, she sneezes at you Go to sleep, God bless your breezes Gently, little darling, he's a la 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 Let me introduce 